from today, we are gonna like drive long hours and then get out of the Senegal. That was our plan. So I was thinking that like nothing gonna happen, but when you do that kind of, you do. Yeah, I hear tune tune two times. Oh, oh. guys, um, uh, we was kind of like a a little bit flying because of the road condition is really bad and a few days ago we ran into a problem with uh, suspensions uh, it got kind of like a worse right now take a breath maybe everything will be okay so guys we changed our plan uh, we really want to have a two days break from this long drive and a bad road corruptions and things but uh, I think we can now uh, we're gonna head back to uh, Umbru there's a one mechanic I'm sure he's not gonna work right now but you know we're just gonna wait there and then see if we can find a There's a one mechanic uh, workshop we found in uh, Ireland there. The problem is the road is so sandy, we almost got stuck in here. You can see it's a sandy road and Mark just checked the uh, outside before. That area there is too sandy and it's really steep. Okay. I mean, right, up, right in front of us might be the best spot. Guys, um, we were looking for a place to park and we were thinking like it's just like a park here and a slip just overnight just a few hours at least just we can rest but the thing is the guy came over that this place is for the accustomed to one's uh, officer's uh, apartment so he said that, like we gotta move so we are gonna leave the place and we found the one mechanic place we are gonna go up there and then maybe sleep over you know, next to the garage so that we can check the car uh, tomorrow early in the morning. But getting out of here will be tricky too because we yeah. always got stuck trying to get in here. So yeah, all right, let's happens. try. This side's soft too, but yeah. it's a little bit better. I'm sorry. Oh, I felt how soft it is. Uh, okay, I think we're through. Okay. guys we made to the uh, another mechanic workshop uh, luckily when we arrive here it's a quite late time they close the shop but the owner's wife was arrived here and then she said like five minutes later his wife uh, his husband will come who is mechanic for this it shop. looks like they just went out to dinner yeah, yeah so he came back so we um, luckily we can communicate with him through the google translations that you know like we have a suspension problem or something can you check it tomorrow because there are so many cars in this mechanic shop i was so shocked it looks like a pretty nice shop too. yeah so oh and then the owner is a french mm. owner yeah, yeah the yeah. owners are french, french. <laughs> <laughs> so we um he said like he can check our car tomorrow because we have to leave the uh, senegal within five days because of the passavant so he said yeah we are i'm gonna check it but i'm not sure i can fix it um the reason why Bungo 3 Kuts is a really unique car, um, I'm sure it's not easy to get apart. So, yeah, he said, uh, you know, just like he's not sure. But, anyways, tomorrow we are gonna check with him. So, um, I was quite upset because I really wanna go to Palmarine because that comes like the access to the uh, beach and the Kalim Beach. We are familiar with that area. But now we have to focus on the car and we are gonna see that we can leave. Uh, with the TB, with a health condition. Good morning, TB crew. Uh, we slept pretty good last night. Uh, we parked right in front of the uh, garage, and 
then uh, there was the uh, security guard that you know like we can feel like kind of safe and we can sleep uh, yesterday I passed out right yeah. <laughs> we both we passed both, yeah. uh, so um, following the uh, Google map they say they are gonna open 9 a.m. so it's three minutes left and we are gonna like uh, clean up a little bit and then talk with the uh, mechanic guy how he can check our car um, yeah and then I drank coffee my brain start to work so let's, let's see Ah, uh, this one, this one here. Ah, oh, yeah, yeah, I see, I see, I see, I see. We, we, we. Ah, okay. Is it bad on you? Yeah, no, I see it was bad, so it should have this uh, pushing here. Yeah, we. So this guy right here, this is the uh, sway bar. Yeah, and one side is broken. Yeah. I'm not broken, but it's like the uh, bushing is uh, completely shredded off inside. I don't think so. Orca. Orca, we. It's here. Medina. I do. Yes. Yeah, tell me I'll translate. Okay, thank you. So he's saying that um, the shop that we need to go to is near Orca. Yeah, it's down in, uh, in the capital. Down in the capital, okay. yeah. You could go and maybe, I mean, slight chances of finding the part you need. Yeah. Uh, uh, the, the problem may be that uh, uh, you might get ripped off. Yeah, you know, yeah. Because they, they're going to take advantage of you. They'll see a foreigner and. Uh, yeah. yeah. I have a really good shop in Morocco. Yes. Yeah, I could possibly, if I know which parts to order, I could order them in. 20 recommendations. Okay. Expert fee. Okay. Uh, about driving it to Morocco, 2,400 kilometers. Okay. He says that he has a guy in Morocco. He says you can go to Morocco. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. You take care. Yeah. You too. And have a good, uh, have a great trip yeah. and be yeah. safe. Huh? Thank you so okay. much. Thank you so okay. much. Thank you, Francois. That's not easy, huh? So we are leaving. Yeah. 
They're charging too. Yeah. With yeah. blocking all the entrance. So we arrived at the campsite. The um, the car is parked right there, and uh, we know that some part of the uh, this campsite has a sand. Yeah, yeah, we got stuck. So Mark is gonna dig up the uh, sand and then put the uh, rock, the brick in there. So we are gonna try. I will try to push, okay? Just wait a second. It's over. Just give me a signal. One, two, three. That was peaceful. <laughs> it's okay. And it's all on four. I chased them away. Guys, uh, we chill a little bit and then finally took a shower. And we're gonna get ready for, you know, our dinner. Always a meal give me a better spread than pasta too. Man, actually I talked with a Mark that I we are really really trashed this mentally and physically. Uh, for me I've got something going on in my conditions. I don't know what it is. It's kind of cold but it could be an allergy. I'm not sure. Uh, anyways, um, tonight meal will be a Korean barbecue. We thought that we bought a pork belly but Mark just said that it's not. It's a rip. There is a bones in there so he's cutting it out. But I made the uh, dishes like this is a typical um, restaurant. When you go to um, when you go to the restaurant, you can see this uh, green onion uh, stuff side dish and onion too. I made it, and we're gonna eat. And bon appetit. Before that, I gotta wear the uh, mosquito pants because I got bit so many times, and you know. I'm just keep bleeding because I scratch too much, so I'm gonna wear it and go outside. Wear the tent. So we have a meat pork, and then. The uh, side dishes, beer for Mark, Sprite for me. Lucy's sick. Yeah, when I don't drink, it means I'm really, really sick. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god. Wow. 
Oh my god. 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 Oh my Zero. Yeah. Oh, wow. uh, Mark was a good driver. <laughs> <laughs> if it was my father, yeah. no car. He wouldn't come here to Africa, to Morocco. Uh, 